To add a macro to a phrase, click at the position where you would like to add it. Then in the upper right of the main menu, you will find a selection of all macro functions. In this example, we want to add an input form. So we click on user input and select form input. This is a macro input dialog and most macro input dialogs have the same structure. So at the top, you enter the name, which is just a visual indicator. So you remember what the macro is actually for. Then in the middle section, you customize the macro. This section varies from macro to macro, depending on its purpose. This is an input form, so we can enter a label for the form, so you know later what to input. And then in the bottom section, you have the option to process the output of this macro. So this is a kind of twisted. This is a form input, and the output of the macro is what you enter in the form. And you can process this output if you click on this button. In this dialog, you can add one or more processing steps. In this example, for manual text input, you may want to trim leading and trailing spaces. This is what this processing step is for. If you click, it will be entered to the list. You can add multiple processing steps. For example, if you do not enter anything, you can have an alternative text. So this is a second output processing step. If you click on OK, the icon in the button changes from the plus symbol to a pencil indicating that you define process output steps. To edit your process output later, just click here. And then you can either edit individual steps with this pencil button, and you can delete individual steps or add additional ones. Okay, the macro is fully customized. And if you click on OK, Fresh Express will enter this macro token. Most macros are described in the documentation, but you can also freely experiment with the macros. By the way, to edit a macro, just double-click the token. 